Hi, this is Mrs. Loop in the Reading and Writing Lab at Central Kitsap Middle School in Room 13. Let me tell you a little about myself. My name is Laura Barker Loop, but I go by Mrs. Loop in the classroom. It's just easier that way. This is my fifth year teaching full time. I have four children and one grandson. My two older children live in other states. They're older and they live in their own houses. The younger two are in high school. That is Seth on the left and Justin on the right. As you can see, my boys and I love going to Renaissance fairs. Guess what? I do as much homework as your kids do too. I'm in college full time to get my second master's in principalship or special education administration. I hope to be a principal one day and hopefully, hopefully not too far in the future. Let's see more about me. I love to bowl, though I'm not very good at it. I love to bake. I bake every weekend and I love watching the Seahawks. Go Hawks! A little bit more about me. I graduated from Ashford University with a master's in education and a minor in special education. I also graduated from Central Washington University with a teaching certification in special education and elementary education. I can also teach special education preschool and nine through 12 English language arts. Now, as the kids will tell you, I have a little bit of a different type of classroom. I have tables instead of desk. Movement and laughter are encouraged. Ball chairs and rockers are there to help students move and wiggle in their seats. The beanbag chairs are coming soon. I forgot them in my garage. And I like having a home-like atmosphere to practice social skills and to help differentiate different learning. This is what a classroom in a blended classroom looks like. Sorry for the bloopers, guys. I'm a little nervous. This isn't your ordinary classroom like we grew up with Han moms and dads. As you can see, there's a computer station in the back wall. I have one too. A comfy seating area over on the right and workstations all around the classroom. My classroom is close to this. Why? Because it works better and I can level the kids learning in different ways by having them in small groups. How do we do this? Well, let's start. We start with whole group instruction first, and then we break off into small learning groups, which we rotate about every 15 to 20 minutes. When they're in small group, they go to the computer station, the mixed instruction station, which will have my assistant with them, and they'll have independent activities to do there also. They'll see me in a teacher-led instruction area, and they'll do some independent reading. These will be mixed up depending on the day and what order they go in. Now, like I said, I don't have ordinary chairs. I have ball chairs, glider rockers, and stools, and the floor if you want to count that one. We even have yoga mats for the kids to lay on. Now, your kids are going to tell you a lot about they're self-assessing. Yep, they are. They need to tell me how they're doing so I can help them better. These are just a couple ways that they will learn to self-assess in the reading lab. I have a ton of books at their level. I have books from Alexia of two all the way up through seventh grade. So second through seventh grade reading in my classroom. We also have books that are specific from the reading program that they may be using. They're listed on the right. All in all, reading is reading and you can't go wrong. Now about homework. I don't assign homework. I really don't believe in it. I have promised your students, if they work hard for me during the day, I won't give them homework. However, if they don't finish what they're doing in class, which is rare, they need to take it home to finish. Really, the best homework is to read with your student. Read to them, have them read to you, or to a different family member. Even have them read to a family pet, just like we do at our house to our dog, Captain Jack Sparrow the Schnauzer. 
Now I told your student, if they came back on Friday the 14th and gave me a code word, that they would get a treat. Well, the code word is Lexile. And they will be learning just with, along with you what a Lexile is in the coming year. It's their reading level and how we can help them determine what is the best book for them in their reading level. I know it sounds a little complicated right now, but we'll learn together and they'll help you learn too. Thank you so much for coming. If you need to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me at lauraba at ckschools.org or call the office and they'll give you my voicemail. Have the most wonderful days and a wonderful school year.